Today we're going to learn how to play the chaotic game of Unicorn Aside. Unstable Unicorns. Let's go. Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Be a part of this magical channel. It can be played with two to four players, but in my opinion, four to eight makes it really fun. The object is to be the first player with seven unicorns, or six unicorns if you're playing with six to eight players. You do this by carefully obtaining unicorns, protecting your stable, and destroying or stealing your opponent's unicorns. That means sabotaging other players, stealing their unicorns, but that's just the fun of unstable unicorns. It's the chaos and the fact that the game can turn on its head in just one round. Setup. The main draw deck is placed in the middle of the table. All players begin with one free baby unicorn. Pick the one that you want and place it face up in front of you. This is your unicorn stable now. The rest of the baby unicorn cards are placed to the side of the main draw deck. The other side of the draw deck will now become the discard pile. Play begins with the player who's wearing the most colors, making them more unicorn-like than everyone else. Play will continue clockwise from them. Gameplay. Each player has four phases on their turn. A beginning phase, draw phase, action phase, and end phase. You might not do all the phases on a turn, but they must be done in the correct order. The beginning of turn phase only applies if you have a special card in your stable that says, if this card is in your stable at the beginning of your turn, dot, 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 and then you can choose to use that ability. The next phase is the draw phase. Draw a new card from the deck. After that phase is the action phase. Take one of the following actions. Play a unicorn card from your hand to your stable. Play a magic card from your hand. Play a downgrade card from your hand. Play an upgrade card from your hand or draw another card from the deck. Finally, at the end of your turn phase, discard until the number of cards in your hand does not exceed the hand limit. The hand limit is seven, but that hand limit is subject to change. Let's quickly go over the five different cards in the game. Unicorn, Magic, Downgrade, Upgrade, and Instant. The unicorn cards are essential for victory. You'll need to have seven unicorns in your stable to win, so playing these in your action phase is a must. There are three types of unicorns though. There's the baby unicorn card that you got for free at the start of the game. It has no special abilities other than being cute. The next type is the basic unicorn. Though decorative and sometimes humorous, the basic unicorns have no additional abilities. Finally, there are magical unicorns. These unicorns have a special ability. Each will describe what that ability is. After the unicorn cards, we have magic cards. Magic cards have a green corner with a star symbol. These cards have a one-time effect. If you play a magic card in your turn, immediately move it to the discard pile after it's performed its magic. Downgrade cards. Downgrade cards have a yellow corner with a down arrow symbol. Add a downgrade card to another player's stable to impose negative effects on that player. A downgrade card stays in that player's stable until it's sacrificed or destroyed. Sacrifice and destroy are two important terms. Destroy refers to one player taking a card out of their opponent's stable and putting it into the discard pile. Sacrifice means that a player takes a card out of their own stable and puts it into the discard pile. Upgrade cards. Upgrade cards have an orange corner with an up arrow. These cards grant positive effects. You can play an upgrade card on any player's stable, including your own. An upgrade card stays in the player's stable until it's sacrificed or destroyed. Finally, instant cards. These have a red corner with an exclamation point symbol. This is the only type of card that doesn't have to be played on your turn. In this deck, the instant cards are the nay cards, which can be played at any time against any other player's card. If you're familiar with Exploding Kittens, it acts as a nope card. Chaos will ensue as you play cards with special abilities. And if there are disputes about the wordage of the cards, I recommend that you check out the official rule card from the Unstable Unicorns, which I've linked below. The first player to have seven unicorns in their stable, even if it's not on their turn, the game is over immediately and they are the winner. Special rules. If the deck runs out of cards before any player reaches the winning number of unicorns in their stable, the player with the most unicorns wins. If two or more players tie for the most unicorns in their stable, each tied player must add up the number of letters in the names of their unicorn cards. The player with the most letters wins. If two or more players tie for the most unicorns and the most letters, well, everybody loses. Bummer. If you're playing with two players, remove the following cards before you play. Besides having a great alliterative name, Unstable Unicorns also has many add-on decks. We got this one for Christmas last year, and it's pretty great. Each expansion pack will have a lot of themed unicorns, along with extra special cards. In Unstable Unicorns, it's not enough to just build your stable with your unicorns. If you're playing without being aware of the other players, it's likely that they'll play downgrade cards on you or action cards that ruin your strategy. So you'll want to go out in the offensive. That means sabotaging other players, stealing their unicorns. And because there are so many different unicorns and rules, it's unlikely that a lot of the other players will remember what all the abilities are, and you might take them by surprise if you play a card against them but that's just the fun of Unstable Unicorns. It's the chaos and the fact that the game can turn on its head in just one round. We love playing Unstable Unicorns and I hope you will too. It's a fun game with great artwork, but don't be deceived by its colorful appearance. These unicorns are bloodthirsty and your opponents might be too. Did I get something wrong or do you play it differently or do you just wanna say hi? Let me know in the comments. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. You are great.
See you next time on Playing Games.